British MP says Canada got a bad deal when it purchased four used submarines from the UK. CBC News has learned MP Mike Hancock says the subs weren't worth the money. Asha Tomlinson has the details on this. What exactly is this British MP saying? Well, Rashmi, Hancock is saying that uh, he blames Canadian incompetence for this sale or smooth-talking British salesmen from the Ministry of Defence. He says there should have been signs on these subs that read, buyer beware. So some very strong choice words. He's uh, tabled questions in the British Parliament about this. Here is some of what he's saying. I'm appalled we've done a dumb deal with an ally like this. If this was the Americans, we'd say good luck and serves you right. But as it's Canada, I think there are a lot of questions to be answered. A lot of questions indeed. So this purchase came with a price tag of $750 million. They are Victoria-class Royal Navy submarines. They had been decommissioned even in 1993 when the UK decided to focus on only nuclear subs. Canada renamed the subs HMCS Chicoutimi, Cornerbrook, Windsor and Victoria. We're showing you some video of the Windsor sub. Since the 90s, the Navy has been spending billions on them so they can just be operational. The subs have spent less than three years at sea and have experienced all kinds of problems, including dents, ru uh, rust, fires, and leaks. Actually, in 2004, one sub caught fire. All nine crew members suffered smoke inhalation. One sailor even died in that incident. And CBC News also learning today that HMCS Windsor won't be in the best of shape even after it eventually gets out of dry dock. There's a rust problem with the vessel and that's turned out to be very limiting to its diving depth when the refit is finished. So with all of these problems, Rashmi, the MP is coming forward today and saying that Canada should be asking for its money back. Quite interesting. Thanks, Asha. Okay.